Hey friends, welcome back. I'm Christine of Side Street Market and today we are doing a tabletop Goodwill haul because I have a lot of items to haul for you. But first I want to show you I did pick up two Afghans. So our total spend on this day was $141. And green was the item of the week, and we did have one, two, three, four, five discounted items. So the last thing I picked up in the haul video that you would have seen two days ago was this lovely large afghan. This one was $7.99, but green tag, I got it for about $4, which is great. And then, and I'm sorry, friends, someone already saw this on my Instagram when I posted the trunk shot of my goodies that I got, and this has been claimed. But I also picked up this granny square and it did cost $8, not on sale. And it's kind of neat in that it's got a jagged edge. And I've not really seen that before, how it's laid out with the jagged edge. So that was pretty neat. You see how it kind of goes down like that. So I wanted to show you these items first. And then we have that bag, that bin, and that bin. So we're gonna dig in folks. All right, let's get into our first bag here. We have this one. And let's see, so on top we have this, which was separate. And I don't know if you guys remember me picking this up. It is this large platter. I loved the color and the pattern. I liked the style of it, the look of it. It is marked with no chips, hopefully. Poppy Trail, made in California by Metlock, Metlocks, 1171. Now I paid $6. When I got home, I started looking these up and I did not find this platter, but some others were selling for about 10 to 15. So I'm gonna have to do some more research and figure this one out, but I still thought it was a cute piece to pick up. And then I got some more trays. So I will be having a brass sale on whatnot at some point. So when I was doing my rounds, I found this for $4.99. It is a very nice etched brass tray. I just now noticed that they must have had something sitting there. But still, I mean, it's got the really cool floral handles. Let's do this so you guys can see it a little better. It's got the neat floral handle details. And it was only $5. So still, if that's like a $12 to $15 start, I don't think that's bad. And that's a really cool display piece. And then the last big item I picked up was this, which thanks to my friend Debbie from Our Vagabond Style Travels. I still gotta remember your new screen name, Debbie. This is for a Pyrex casserole. It's a caddy. And the fruit was in pretty good condition. I have sold these before. This one is a little squished and it was $5. So that'll be about $20 online. I don't think that'll do too bad. And that was our next big item. So, oh boy, how are we gonna start here? All right, let me get this big old bin. Okay, so let's see what we got here. In this first bag, it was $4.99. And I think I picked it up because of the dish on the bottom. So in this bag, there were two light up mushrooms, which I'm pretty sure are Dollar Tree. I'll do some Googling, but I thought that those would be cute um, for like a little whatnot giveaway. So I grabbed those. And then this was what I really wanted, which is a nice little Talavera, almost like a soap dish. Del Carmen, Talavera, and Mexico. Just a nice little soap dish or a trinket dish. So that was only $5, so not too bad. Only a couple dollars an item. We'll carefully put those back in so nothing gets chipped. And then I was excited to find this because I actually just sold my last set of speckled pottery. And now they're zip tying. So that's fun. This is a nice Kilncraft Stoneware Japan Cream and Sugar Speckled Pottery Brown, kind of mid-century in nature. It was $4 for the set. And that's about right because these will sell for $12 to 15. 
Doesn't look like there's any damage to the lid, which is nice. So that's a good piece right there. I'm excited for that set. And I have to keep everything in the bags because I've not inventoried yet. But that's perfect. I'm not seeing any hairlines. Now the hairlines, I'll be able to find out once I wash them if there is any hairline situations going on. Okay. Gosh, I got so much stuff this night, friends. It was a really good night for shopping. Okay, and then I got this, which was originally $9.99. So it's got a sheen to it. It looks like depression glass, but don't quote me on that because it could be a reproduction. It's a nice amber berry bowl, but I love the purple iridescence on it. So $9.99, this was actually $4.99. I got it for $5. And then the funny thing is, I think three days later, I found a similar one at the flea market and that'll for a dollar. <laughs> and that video will be coming up, but this will probably, so what I'm trying to do is everything I get, I go, I try to put online first. And then as my whatnot sales come up, I pull from what's on my um, eBay and Etsy stores. So just so if you're looking for items, you can check there first. If you don't see them, feel free to email me. I also grabbed this guy, which was a sunflower one. Again, wow, I didn't realize this one was a $9.99 also. We got it for $5. Now this one does have some discoloration. Like you can see that this, the quality on this one looks a lot nicer than this one. But still, I thought with summer coming, kind of fruit bowls, that those would be cute. But you can definitely see the sheen difference looks a lot better on this one than on this one. Get all the paper on the floor for the cats to play with, because we know they love that. Oh yes, we have our two puppy dogs made in China. Um, these were $6, so they are $3 each. Make a little hole here so we can check them out a little bit better. So this one, I still can't read what that says. It's a bulldog puppy made in China. I think it's country artists for, I need new glasses guys, for the discovering, discerning, country artists for the discerning, and it's a bulldog. Such a cute little figurine. These guys were $6, $3 each, so you know, like nine to $12. That's cute. And then this is another country artist, Cocker Spaniel. It probably needs just a little touch up here and there or just a little cleaning, but I thought these were in nice condition. And they look super realistic too. So those are easily 10 to $12. This one maybe a little less because you have a little discoloration there. But I think when we got these, it was slim pickings in the beginning. So I was just grabbing stuff. And then we got to that dishware section and it was just awesome. And if you missed the video, I will link it below. Okay, and then I picked up this monster, which is false crap. And guys, this is huge. And I did look it up online. So I paid up, I paid $6 and took a risk on this guy. I think I only saw one sold on Worth Point for like maybe $10, but that's it. There's, n I, I didn't find any listed on eBay, any listed on Etsy. I haven't seen any other solds, so it's, I guess, a rarer one. And I think it's called like Tulips and Lattice or something like that, Country Lattice. So I'll have to figure that one out because I did pay six for it. And it is heavy. It's definitely like a stoneware. But, you know, something different. I didn't know what it was, so I took a chance. Oh, yeah, these were our elephants. There's nothing else in here. So again, this was in the beginning when I was trying to find stuff and there wasn't really a lot of stuff. Um, these were $6, so they're $3 each. So first off, we have this kind of cool gold tone elephant. It's a made in China, Miami, Florida type deal. And I just noticed that the tusk is broken. So that is a bummer. That's a negatory. That's a donate back. But this guy was cute. 
the faceless elephant mug cute for a little planter i am going to have a whatnot planter sale coming up so six dollars three dollars each three dollars will be marked as a write-off because it is damaged and being returned sadly i did not catch that but then this will still be cute at three dollars as a nine to twelve dollar item for whatnot for a planter sale and the Tusk isn't even like in the bag where I could, you know, try to repair it. So that's sad. Well, these were cool, guys. I was excited. I don't know what these are. I've not had them before. But check out these glasses. So they've got a little bit of that wannabe Millefiore in there, I think is what it's called. There we go. So let me just take one out for you. So like you can feel it in the glass and look at the bottoms they're all speckled so i'm really curious to do some googling i paid the nine dollars for these because i think these could be good these could be like a 30 to 40 dollar set with my luck watch they'll be dollar tree but we will find out so stay tuned in my what sold videos guys to see if those show up oh yes this was a very cute trinket box here we go so this one was $4.99, and I can open it because I can just stick this inside for inventory. I've got to get some better scissors. I say that every time, though. Okay, so it's actually Formalities by Balm Brothers, which I don't know, but I think I've heard that name before. Oh, that's pretty. I think I've had Balm Brothers in something else. I don't know what I had it in, though. I don't want to say it was a teacup, but that's a nice size trinket box. Mother's Day will be coming up. Valentine's Day, it's too late for that. Um, anniversaries, it's a nice style. Let's see. I think this one was funny when I saw it. I, I think I said, come to mama when I saw this. I was very excited for this piece. This is my jam, my style. It is $6 USA Pottery, and it is, I think, a chip and dip bowl, but it is in the shape of like a pear, and it is this beautiful green drip glaze, and it has no damage, so I was, I was super excited to find that. I think that that's really neat. It is heavy, so it may sit for a while, but then hopefully it will settle. Okay, what other goodies do we have before us here? I don't even remember. Oh yes, we found the Anchor Hawking Pig. So I have sold these before when they have the amber color to them and they have been Anchor Hawking. Um, I'm trying to see if I can see this is kind of welded on because it's been sitting in my garage. $4.99. I'm not seeing the mark on it, but typically these are Anchor Hawking coin banks. And the amber has sold for me before for up to $20. This is five, so this is probably just a double my money, 10 to $12 because it's clear. Ooh, and this one was cool. This was neat. This is probably going to be in a whatnot glass sale. I mean, I'll try listing online first, but it's this white encased glass. It does have a little sliver right there. Is that a crack across it that I did not notice? Is that a crack that I did not notice? <sighs> I can't tell, guys. So that may be inside because I can't feel it. But then look at the beautiful red. And it is on the one side. I don't know what that is because this is flat smooth right here. So it's almost like you could sit it like that. Actually, it's meant to go like that because it's flat on that side. So that's interesting. I'm going to have to figure out what this is and that's going to irk me because I didn't see that but it's just within the glass, but it sits like this. So it almost looks like a shell, like an oyster shell. Very cool. 
And that one was $6. And this is our last item in this bin. And then we'll move on to the next one. Oh, and it was the other pig bank, but it's an elephant. And this one I'm excited to look up. I don't know if I will have looked it up by the time of this video. Now it was $5 and normally I probably would have left it cause it's just like this random elephant looking canister. See, there's the ear, but it had the cork and it says made in Italy. So that intrigued me. And it's got a beautiful blue tone to it. And there's the elephant's trunk. I wanna make sure you guys can see that. So I did grab him for $4.99. I thought that wasn't too bad. I think it's a vase. It's a cookie jar. It is a black cookie jar with kind of a swirl base. And I know Art Deco is popular. Hi guys. I know Art Deco is popular. So for $7, I did grab it. See, it's Home Collection Stoneware Taiwan 91. So it is vintage. It is that nice black, which would be really great for someone trying to do like Art Deco, I think Art Nouveau. Why did they have to tape it? Oi. Now the moment of truth. Ooh, it has a seal. It smells like a mint candle. So there's like a little wax residue in it. And it smells like a candle. Like someone was burning candles in it, but it smells nice. So that's nice that it smells nice. I'll get that wax out. And that'll be good to list. I'm excited. Now the last canister set I got that had a seal on it was a Holly Hobby set. And I was so upset because when I got it home from the flea market and you open the canisters, reeked like someone had been storing cigarettes in them. But as soon as I got rid of the seals, they didn't smell anymore, but then it went down in value because you don't have the seals. All right, now the only reason I picked this guy up is because I think he was 50% off and I already have one listed. So I can do a quantity of two available. It is contemporary China. It is a turkey centerpiece planter, but it was $6.99 with 50% off. So we got this one for $3.50, which is good because they're about a $10 to $12 item. Then this guy, I had tried to research ahead of time and I messed up on buying this one, but I'm still gonna list it and we'll see what happens. Maybe I can just recoup my cost. So this is a Pioneer Woman. I forget what the pattern is, but it's the large mixing bowl of a set of nesting bowls. This was $10. Well, apparently you can buy the whole set on Walmart for like 15 to $20. So until that goes out of stock, this may not have as much value. So it's just gonna sit a while, but this is massive. Like this is a really nice giant mixing bowl. So I did get some big ceramic pieces too this week. And I think we have like three items left guys. So I realized I accidentally stopped filming. So what was in that other one was this guy here that I got for $1.99 that's gonna go in a whatnot sale. And then we have these two left. This I think was a neat contemporary figurine. It is definitely modern, but it has kind of like that fun if someone wants to do Art Deco style. It's like a contemporary Venus. So it's the lady on the waves, standing on the waves like a contemporary Venus. And it was $3. I wouldn't have bought it for six, but I got it for three. And it does say made in China on the bottom. But again, kind of that fun art deco look. I think you guys saw the turkey. I want to make sure you didn't miss that. And then this last item, it is missing a few drawers, but I thought I would give it a shot. They had this at the register. They were putting it back and it's it was only $5. And it's this really cute kind of Talavera knob. It is missing three drawers but it's a little curio. Um, 2011. So it's not vintage, but it's cost plus ink. So I don't know who that is. Oh, it has formaldehyde. Awesome. <laughs> but anywho, 
I thought that would be cute as like a little trinket thing. And I've even checked to see. So like people can rearrange these and if they want to stick something else up there, like little figurines, they can. At $5, I'll try it like 12 to 15. It does weigh a bit. And of course you're obligatory. There's Chappie. There's Holly since they did not come up for the video. But that's it guys, that was my haul. So if you liked the video, remember to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button guys, and I'll be back with you all soon.